So that's conformity. So with conformity, we'll be able to, with social control, we'll be able to know attitudes that are bad, attitudes that are good. So if you are behaving in a way that is in line with the norms and values of the society, that means you are conforming in the society. If you're not, based on your own self-expression, you are not conforming. That means non-conformity. Mm. That is social control. So conformity is, is popular in the society because through socialization, people have internalized the norms and values of their culture. So what I'm saying is this. With conformity, if people conform in the society, it means they have internalized the norms and the values of their culture. It means whatever they do at any point in time, they feel, they feel happy, they feel guilt about it. So if they have done the right thing within the society, what the society wants them to do, if they do it well, they feel happy about it. But whatever they do that they feel guilt about it, it means it is not conformity. They have done the wrong thing. That's why most of the time when you do something that is wrong, you feel it in your mind that, oh, I've done something wrong. Yes. It's because you have internalized yeah. the culture of the society. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, people want to do the wrong thing where, people, where they are not going to be seen. Yeah. Do you understand? It's because yeah. they have internalized their values, the norms of the society. They're afraid that society won't, will know. That's why. They, yes. So they are afraid that yeah. they, it's wrong because mm -hmm. the society doesn't want it, but they did it. Do you understand what conform? So there's social control. Social control will put things in their places. Mm -hmm. So for non-conformity, I wrote, is the tendency of a person to defy social norms and act according to their own desire, desire for self-expression. For example, an individual can express their own unique style and ch uh, challenging societal norms. So I'm going to non-conformity here. What I'm trying to say is that there's conformity, there's non-conformity. For non-conformity, it means you defy social norms. You, you stop doing what the society is expected of you. Yes. Based on your own self-expression. I made the example of you coming up with your own unique style. That, oh, this is what I want. This is how I want to behave. Mm -hmm. I don't care about how they behave. Yeah. This is my own way. You want different ways, yeah. That is, you defy social norms. Yes. That is non-conformity. I think it's clear. Yes. So that takes us to types of social control. Yes. So we have different types of social control. We have formal social control, informal social control. Mm -hmm. We start with informal. For informal social control, here we're talking about controls that comes from people that are not, that are not officials, that don't have authority mm. to put us in check. They can put us in check, but they don't have the authority to put us in check. They can put us in check. That means they can control us. They can put us in order. They can ensure that we, con we, they can ensure that we conform in the society, but they don't have the authority to, conform, to make us conform in the society. Yes. Do you get it? So an example of informal social control is the peer pressure. Peer pressure. Your peer. Mm -hmm. Group of people that you, we are within. Yes. They can, they can make you to conform in the society. How can they do that? They can, they can shame you. They can ridicule you. They can do it through saxing. They can criticize you. Mm -hmm. Because they want you to behave in a certain way in the society. So they might even take you apart. They might push you out of the group. Because you are not conforming with the society. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Yes. So this group of people, they are not authorities they they are not they don't have that or they don't have that formality to put you in, in order but they are doing it because you are part of their group yes do you understand so okay. example of informal informal social control is the peer pressure is it clear yes great so for peer pressure i explain what peer pressure is peer pressure is the influence that a peer group has to force its members to conform mm -hmm. the influence the group has to make you conform in the society is called peer pressure. I think it's clear. So that's about, peer, uh, that's about informal control. Then we go to formal. For formal control, for formal control, here I wrote. What brings about formal control? This is when informal control doesn't work. If informal control doesn't work, then you have to try formal control. Okay. Yeah. So formal control means that you have authority to check 
the undoings of those in the society. You have the authority. Did you get it? Yes. So this is true socialization. We have the primary socialization and the secondary socialization. So who are those that ensure that there's conformity in the society? These are what we call agencies of socialization or agencies of social control. So agencies of socialization are the same as agencies of social control. So what makes them differ is that in, 